In this video, I'm going to be showing you some fun things that you can do in the Philippines in the capital city of Manila. Good afternoon from Manila. Last night, I crashed my drone on the 44th floor of this condo. You can see the view. And I got some really nice shots and then disaster happened. It crashed, landed in a bush, so it should be okay. The plan is I'm going to give you a quick condo tour. After that, we're going to go to try and fix the drone. And then I'm going to go to two places. The first one is called Bank Bar, I think, which is like a secret bar. And the second one's called Fun Roof. So let's start with the condo tour. So this is where me and Dan have been staying. This is Danny Boy. What's up, guys? And Alisa. Hello, everyone. Hard at work right now, right? I feel like this is like, you know, when you do a villa or an apartment tour and mm -hmm. like, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> this is the digital nomad. This is it right here. So this is the living room, kitchen. Oh, this is Dan's favorite thing. This is a hot and cold water machine. Really useful, isn't it, Dan? Yeah, thank you a lot. Yeah. And this is the stunning living room with the customized captures. Look at this view. And then I'll show you the balcony. Oh, it's windy. I was flying my drone last night over here. I've got some beautiful shots. And then the side of it built it. Let me show you it. It hits this bit and it goes. lands right in those bushes. Right there. Oh, I'm hoping it'll be okay, but I don't know. We're gonna have to see today. All right, see you in a bit, Dan. I'm gonna go try to fix the drone. See you in a bit. I'll just continue my work here. We'll be back. See you later. Here's a taxi. Beautiful day today. Look at this car. That's a Corvette. It's a Corvette. What do you think about that? Right, just got out the taxi and across the road. Oh, not getting hit by a car. Really nervous to see how this goes. I hope I can get it fixed here instead of doing it in Thailand. Wow, this area is nice. Got a nice park. Look at this. So American. So this looks like a hospital, but apparently the security guard. Oh, this one. Why we're here. Okay, so we've just got the drone out and he's gonna take a look at it. <laughs> okay, so the gentleman just gave me back my drone has told me that the actual only problem with the drone is the gimbal. So the camera's fine. So this bit you can see here is disconnected. We can get it done in three days, but we need to replace the gimbal or we can do it quickly, which would be today. But obviously that can't charge a little bit more. So yeah, let's see. All right, here's the price. So they're going to change the camera and the gimbal and that can be done today. Yes, sir. if okay. we can get the camera and gimbal. All right. <laughs> okay, perfect. And then I can use it for the beach. We just left the DJI repair store. They said it's going to cost 21,500 pesos to fix it today. Um, normally they take a couple of days, but I said I want it today because tomorrow we're going to the beaches. So yeah, that's the damage, but it has to be done. Okay, the time is now 6 p.m. Pick up the drone, that's the plan. Then I'm gonna take you to two places, really, really cool places in Manila. The first one is called Bank Bar, I think. Which is a secret bar, hidden, you'll see. And the second one is called Fun Roof. Fun Roof is this one. I mean, that looks fun, right? <laughs> Look at this view. Holy shit. How are you? So you changed the gimbal yes, and the whole camera and gimbal. The whole camera and the gimbal, okay. 
there we go there's the receipt so it actually cost 21,000 pesos in total and it was done on the same day which is really really quick well, I just finished at the DJI shop with PJ. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your help today. Mm. And that was great. Really smooth, really quick. And now we're off again. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. See you later. Thank you. So the task now is to find where actually is this bar. There's, it's a secret bar. It's hidden. And I have no idea. So I'm going to have to try and find it. Right before we go into this. Oh, hello, look who's here. All right, guys. Danny Boy is back. So, where are we going? Just buying some drinks from 7 Eleven. I'm really thirsty. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've heard there's a secret bar in there. This is just 7 Eleven, though. Oh, this is a normal shop. It looks pretty normal to me. We've got axe, fairly normal. Is it through one of these doors? Do I twist the Coke and then it opens? Yeah, I think there's some uh, frozen stuff through here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, this is the stock room for 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah. I can hear music. Can you see me? Very dark. <laughs> <laughs> so what's through this curtain? the bank bar this is my first time here this is Dan's second time he's the one showing me around and it's pretty cool it's themed like a bank I guess the staff here are wearing like bulletproof vests so it kind of looks like they're doing a bank robbery which is a nice little touch I love BGC this area is BGC very developed obviously it's only a small percentage of the city of Manila, I understand that. As someone that just loves the big lights, the big cities, places that really make you feel excited, BGC is one of those. I agree, I completely agree. Yes, it doesn't rep represent Manila, does it, as a whole, but it's really cool. The Filipinos love it. I've asked a few now, where do you like to go to hang out, where do you go to chill? And a few have said I go to cafes in BGC. And I can see why, I can understand, it's great. And then after this, we're gonna head to, is it a bar or a restaurant? Bar, mm. fun area. We can see it from where we're staying in the condo yeah. and it's lit up with lots of neon lights. We're excited for that. Cheers. And I'll definitely come back. Okay, we just left Bank Bar. How was that? Pretty good. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Cool vibe, right? Yeah, very cool. All right, we just arrived to Fun Roof. So we go in this building and go up the stairs or the elevator. Whoa, this is a funky elevator. I'm tripping right now. What do you think? It's funky, but it feels a bit creepy. It does. Like, where are we gonna go? What floor is it on? Fourth floor. Okay, let's see. What's gonna be on the other side of these doors? Oh. Hello, we're going to Fun Roof. Wow, they have some throwing games, batting, crazy golf, basketball, curling, bowling. Funky place. All right, we finally made it to the fun roof and Dan's got his drink already. What's it called? Uh, Little Miss Sunshine. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some food, pork chop and pizza. I'll also order a little Miss Sunshine. And yeah, I'm gonna show you around, so let's have a look.
really, really, really cool. Alright, we've just left the fun roof. Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Out of 10, what are you giving it for the experience? 9.7. Wow! 9.7. I think it's fun. I give it a 9.5 out of 10. It was really, really fun. Um, is it rated? No, it's not rated. We go back to the condo and sleep. Good night, guys.